Hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Cyberpunk 2077 video. Well, today I'm going to be showing you some very cool new legendaries that I came across right here in Cyberpunk 2077. You see, since update 1.1 came out, well, CD Projekt Red took that ability for us to reroll the legendary. But in update 1.2, they gave it back to us and in doing so, kind of flipped all the legendaries around. Had a lot of people hit me up and indeed that is the case. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some amazing new legendaries that you can get right here in Cyberpunk 2077. So if at any given time you found this video entertaining or helpful, please by all means follow, like, and subscribe on all social media platforms, but especially right here on YouTube because it definitely helps this video get out there in the YouTube algorithm. Alright ladies and gentlemen, first up we have the Licks Kicks. Now the Licks Kicks is going to be located all the way out here in the Badlands. So what you're going to do is come over to this fast travel location at the Tango Toros Motel and head over here to this pin location. From here we're going to do a nice little spin around. Here's the Tango Toros Motel. Call up your car, get into the vehicle, and head over to the pin location. Now, this is a location that we've been here before. Our tour, you might have been here, so you may not be able to pick up this legendary, but if this is your second playthrough, well, this is a location that somebody pointed out to me where they used to pick up some pants, and now it has changed. So, we're gonna head over here into this gate, you can easily just make your way in here like I can. Even if you're under level, you can slide up in here. But there is a lot of enemies over here. Right here at this building where you see it says Militech inside of here, they're going to be this room that we need to use a technical ability on to open up. Here it is right here. Technical ability open. Inside of here will be the Licks Kicks with Recycle Resistant Materials. Now, if at any given time you come across any of these epics, they're not legendary. You're going to have to save and reload. Save and reload. Now it took me about 7-8 times to get this to roll. But when it did, it was definitely worth it. The Licks Kicks are an amazing new legendary that you can pick up. Next up, we have the Cotton Headband. Now the Cotton Headband is going to be located out here in Watson, Little China. Right here at this Assault in Progress. Now if you already completed this, guess what? You can still come over here and pick up this legendary. That is, of course, if you have never picked it up. But if this is your first time, you're going to head over to this Assault in Progress. There will be some enemies over here, but they're not super high level. So there's nothing to worry about. So head over here, kill them however way you like. You know, stealth, silent, go in there, guns blazing, go in there, slicing and dicing. I go in here, batter up like I am, till you take out all the enemies. And now it's not the reward, but right behind there, boom, there is a chest. Inside of that chest will be the reinforced cotton headband. Of course, you want this to roll with three mods, so I got it on the first side. So good for me, no save and reload, but there it is. Pretty awesome. Next up, we have the Boost Nicks Field Jacket. Now, the Boost Nicks Field Jacket. It's also going to be located right by the frayed scab shirt so this location boom two different new legendaries that you can get right here in watson kabuki so what we're going to do is head over to the fast travel location right off of the kabuki martin fast travel station we're going to head over to this gig right here that gig is called the woman of la mancha so we need to confront anna hamill so that's what we're going to do here we are at the Kabuki Market Station. Just going to head straight right here. And you didn't see that. Yeah, I got hit. I ran over. It's cool. Ran over in the inside of here. And uh, yeah, right here next to the mac and cheeses. There's going to be this little hotel sign. Inside of here will be a door. Now, you do have to pay a little fee. It's nothing too expensive, ladies and gentlemen. Just pay 151 eddies to unlock. Get yourself a nice hotel, motel room. And turn around, right over here, we use the technical ability of four. You open that bad boy up, and over there will be a legendary. Well, if it's epic, you can turn it into a legendary. So, once again, you're going to save, reload, save until that bad boy drops. Took me around 12, 13 times, something like that. It was 
quite a few times I had to roll this to get that one. So, FYI, I don't get these on the first try. Just saying. But once you get that, make your way upstairs all the way up to the third floor. That's where we're going to complete the gig, Woman of La Mancha. Head over here and confront Anna Hamill. Now, as you see right over there, there's an epic. You can flip that into a legendary. So, once again, create that save, load that bad boy up, and flip it and keep on doing it. I actually got this on the second try, so, you know, it's different for everybody. I got this on the second try, so, good for me. Now, head over here. You will be confronted, but you can easily calm her down, take her out, do whatever you want to do. Basically, you want to complete that mission. No big deal. Over there, go ahead, finish that mission up, pick up yourself that legendary. It's going to be called the Freight Scav Combat Shirt. Now, this one can be rolled with four different mod slots, so you may want to save and keep reloading till you get that four little mod slot. Next up, we have the Spike Maelstrom Jacket, which looks phenomenal. Now, this one is going to be located out here in Watson Northside. So, head over here to the Thievery Mission. And, uh, yeah, we're going to pick ourselves up a nice legendary. Now, if you have already completed this, maybe you picked it up. Hopefully, you have it. But from here, we're going to go to the fast travel location at the All Food Market. We're going to call ourselves our car. Then, we're going to make our way over to the gig. Now, once we make our way over there, we're going to get a call from our good old friend Regina giving us a lowdown on the mission. Yo, V, there's this badge. He needs help with his investigation. Guy's known for operating in the gray zone. No scruples about working with mercs. Attach more deeds for you. All right, cool. Now, you may be under, you may not. There is a sneaky little way you can get out of here without even taking out any enemies. You just come over here and finish the mission another time. But if you want, you can easily just double jump over here to the side like so. You can see, hey, guy didn't even detect me. Right over here, boom, will be our legendary. Well, it's epic right now. So just jump up over here up on top so you can create yourself that save without making it a combat zone. And once again, wash, rinse, repeat, load up those save. So it took me on the second try, got it on the second try, good for me, maybe different for you, but it does roll into a legendary, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see right here. Here it is, the Spike Maelstrom short sleeve jacket. Scoop, get up out of here, as you can see, and bounce. Now, you do have to be at level 30 for these to be legendary, FYI. Next up, we have the Kashu's Hunting Kick. Now, the Kashu Hunting Kicks are some of the new legendary agents in here in Cyberpunk 2077. It's going to be located in Watson, Northside. So head over here down to Martin Street, over here into the SOS Merc Mission. Over here of Kennedy Ave, we're going to make our way over here. Guess what? We're going to get another call from our good old friend Regina Jones. Hey V, got this client. Not the brightest bulb of the bunch. Got himself into some serious trouble. Needs to leave town ASAP. More intel attached. Alright, from here we're going to make our way over to the room number 1237. It's going to be the only room that is open. Once you complete this mission, the door will be locked. So you really only have one opportunity to get this. So if you already completed this mission, you're going to have to get this on your second playthrough. Head over here and inside of there it will be a chest sitting right back over there. Once again, it's epic. can be rolled into legendary. Here it is, the cashew hunting cakes made with modified polymade. Wash, rinse, repeat until you get that into the legendary. And yeah, the kicks are pretty cool, so I'm not going to complain about those. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the brand new legendaries that is right here in Cyberpunk 2077. And I hope you truly enjoyed this video. Once again, if you are new to this channel, hey, how you doing? Welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpo Gaming, I upload a wide variety of videos ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys, news, updates, and a lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Now, right now, I do have a giveaway going for that game called Outriders. Links will be down below in the description. You see, with your help watching videos, being the awesome person that you are, liking the videos, it really does help out the channel, help the community grow, and I'm able to give back more. So thank you for all the continued support. For those of you that do support the videos and for the strangers that are new to the channel, once again, welcome. Thank you, everybody. 
hope you're having a wonderful day. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one, my tunes.